I am from Minnesota, and I speak English. Thank you. <laughs> Renia, can you please introduce yourself? Tell the students and Patsy your name. Where are you from? And what language do you speak? Okay? Yeah. So everyone look one. What is your What's name? What's your name? Yeah. What language What's do, you speak? do you speak? Do you speak? Where, Where are, are you, you from? from? from. Okay. Name. What's your name? What's your name? Do you do what speak? language speak? Speak? Yeah. Where are you Where from? Where are you from? Are you from? Yeah. Okay. Please introduce yourself to the students. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Rania. Um, I'm from Congo. I speak. Uh, Nyarwanda, I speak Swahili. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. I, speak, I speak Nyarwanda, I speak Swahili. Uh -huh. And? And little English. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Yeah, little English. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot. What's your name? What's your name? Where are you from? Where, Where are, you are, you are you from? from? What language? What, what language, language, language do you speak? Do you speak? What's your name? What's your name? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? What language do you speak? What, what language, language do you speak? Talk together. <laughs> what? What's your name? My name is Ha. What's your what name? name? I'm from Thailand. <laughs> <from? laughs> what is your language you speak? My name is Mount. What's your name? My name is Rania What do you speak? I speak Yerwanda, Swahili, a little language, English. Okay. It's a question mark. It's a question mark. What is this? Question mark. Question mark. What is this? Question mark. We are asking a question. What's your name? Where are you from? What language do you speak? Okay. Today we're going to talk about questions. So if I have a question, who? Who? Uh, who are you? Who are you? Students. Again, no change? Students. Students. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Who am I? Oh, yeah. it's a teacher. The teacher. Uh, who is she? Uh, teacher. Yeah, she's a teacher. Her name is Beth, right? So when we ask the question, who, we are asking a question about People. People. Okay. When we ask the question who, we are asking a question about people. Who? Who? People. We're asking about the people. Mother, father, children, teacher, daughter, brother, student, doctor. We're asking a question about the people. Who? 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 Who is a question about people? Kicking. Kicking. Knitting. Knitting. Skiing. Skiing. Cooking. 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 This one hiding. Hiding. Oh. Maybe your children. Your children hide. He's hiding. Skating. These are all actions. Okay. Things we do with our arms 
and our legs, we move. Okay? So that the question, what, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are you doing? What action? Oh. <laughs> are you exercising right now? Yep. No. no. Oh. What are you doing right now? Sitting. Uh-huh. <laughs> or maybe listening. Listening. Or maybe talking. Talking. Okay. This is the action. Oh. Okay. So sitting. Standing, listening, speaking, these are actions. So when we ask the question, what are they doing? It's a question about the action. Bus stop, church, city hall, courthouse, farm, fire station, grocery store, these are all places, places, and we ask the question, where, 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 Rania, where are you right now? I passing the whole school. There you go, you finally got to answer that question. Oh, where, classroom. So I, I, then I step from the chair. Yeah, so chair can be a place. Yeah. Or classroom or school. Okay. Oter, where are you right now? Where? Hmm. Classroom. Classroom. School. School. Okay. So the question where <coughs> is about the place. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Where are you? Yeah. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Minnesota. Where are you from? From Minnesota. You, Minnesota? <laughs> you from? What is speaking with Maybe. Yeah. Right now in Minnesota? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the Minnesota, Burma, Bhutan, Congo, those are all places. So we ask the question where? March, April, May, May June, July, August, September, October, November, December. This is what year? What month? We can say when. 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 When do you come to school? When? When do you come to school? I can speak English. Yeah, when? What day? What time? Oh, I I come here at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? When do you come to school? I come to school at 9 o'clock. Uh-huh. What days? Monday, October, October, November, yeah. December, that's a month, right? Yeah. So when we ask the question when, we are asking about year, month, day, time, when, 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 when did you, can I take this, when did you come to the United States, um, when? Uh, what year? Yeah. When did you come to the United States? Eight. Eight. Um, <laughs> 2014. Um, how, how long have you been in the United States? Two thousand six, two thousand seven, two thousand eight. Where? 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 What? What, what, are, what are they doing? Who? Who? Okay. 
So who, who is a question about? Yeah, I heard it. People. People. Thank you, Lachi. Who is a question about people? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where? Where is a question about the place?
to 2,000. So first package. Next, he was a custodian in a school. He cleaned and waxed the floors. He took out the trash, the garbage. He fixed the toilet and the light. He was a custodian from 2000 to 2008. Then he moved to Texas. Oh, do you know where is Texas? Yep. What yep. you do know? Where is Texas? It's very big. Yep. Yep. Big and green. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Texas. That's Texas. Texas. So maybe first Minnesota, and then he moved to Texas. He started working in an office. Now he is an office worker. He answers the phone and he gives faxes to people in the office. Okay? Did you hear packager? Yeah. Yes. Packager. Custodian? Yes. Baby doctor? Yeah. Baby doctor? <laughs> is Max a baby doctor? Uh, no. 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 What is his job? Uh, packager. Uh huh. First packager. Second custodian. Custodian. Third. Uh, he makes copies. Yeah, makes copies. Mm -hmm. You know the name of the job? Office worker. No. No? Does he work at the office? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good job. <laughs> nice job. Okay, now tell me yes or no. He puts some things in the box. Yes. Yes. He takes out garbage. Yes. And goes home. Yes. Yes. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know if he goes home. Maybe he sleeps at the school. He puts paper in the printer. Yes. Where? Uh, office. Office. Yes. office. Nice job. Okay. He writes the answer. Yes. Where? No. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no? No. He looks, he looks at the letter. letter. Does he look at the letter? Yeah. Yeah. Where? No. Uh, Nara says no. No. Why? Yes. <laughs> Nachi says yes. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Does he look at the letter? Yeah. He pick up the box. Put things in the box. Put them in the box. Listen. Max is a hard worker. Max has had many different jobs. In 1996, he took his high school exam when he was 16. After that, he started working. First, he was a packager in a factory. He put things in boxes and put the boxes on a truck. He worked in the factory from 1996 to 2000. So he was a packager. He put things in the box. Where? Again. In the factory. Yep. And look. Look here for Max. Do you see Max? Yep. Put your finger on Max. Put your finger on Max. 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 Listen. No talking. Listen and look. Max is a hard worker. Max has had many 
different jobs. In 1996, he took his high school exam when he was 16. Look together. <laughs> How long? Packager. How long? Packager is how long? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. People. Packager is people. people. Mm -hmm. Packager is people. Custodian or janitor? Which one? People? people. Action? People. people. Oh, action. Action. People. Mm. Passes people. Mm. No. Oh. It's okay. Fixed. 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 Who is this? People. Office worker. Uh -huh. Who is this? Custodian. Custodian. Who is this? Packager. Uh, what did he do? Three actions. Place. Mm -hmm. Yep. Place. Place. How many? There are three places. Um. Oh. Time. Three places. One time. One calendar. And two. How long? Wait. Wait. Packager puts 
things in the box. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What is this? Office. office. <laughs> the office worker answers the phone at the office. The custodian cleans and fixes where? Uh, school. The school. <laughs> he was 16. After that, he started working. First, first, he was a packager in a factory. He put things in boxes and put the boxes on a truck. He worked in the factory from 19... Okay, tell us a little bit about your class. So the class today was um, refugees from Burma, Bhutan, Congo, and Thailand and Laos. Um, the range was anywhere from about 175 to 191. And most of the students in this particular class today are fairly new arrivals within the last year. Okay, and what were you working on today? Today we were working on um, asking and answering questions. So one of the things I've been thinking about a lot after reading a research article on how people who are illiterate but successful kind of make themselves to be something successful without having that literacy. And their big answer and response was, to that was being able to ask good questions and being able to form questions so that they can get answers that help them to make decisions. So I've been thinking a lot about kind of the WH questions and how to help students realize that those questions, hearing the question who is always going to be about people or hearing the question where is always going to be about a place. Mm -hmm. Those questions are also seen in CASAs. Um, those questions are asked of them in their daily lives. So helping to ask and answer questions is the main focus of this lesson. Okay. How does that relate to the transitions integration framework then, in particular the category today, which was learning strategies? Learning strategies. Yeah, so um, the kind of tip objectives of this lesson were to be able to make use of their background knowledge in order to understand new information. So asking them the questions, um, what's your name, where are you from, what language you speak, so they can get the idea of asking and answering questions. Um, making predictions before and during the reading and listening. Um, I have to say I was really surprised at how well that worked. I really, this is, um, 
the first time that I've done this particular lesson. And so um, being able to elicit information from the pictures, I was so impressed and surprised at how well that worked for us to connect their answers that I had written on the board back to the text. It was really nice as I was reading the story to them the first time to see that almost all of the key vocabulary was already written on the board and that was just vocabulary that they had given me. Mm -hmm. So my intention with a graphic organizer was for them to be able to see images and see vocabulary and be able to group them into uh, categories which is actually a real challenge, especially at this level, um, to be able to think critically about what they're seeing in the image and how they might fit together. So they first sorted out a stack of images and there were three, six, nine, twelve different images and vocabulary words that they had to group together and think about how they related to each other. And then they used that information to fill in the graphic organizer to help them to think about the questions that are being asked. Mm -hmm.